Hi everyone, welcome to the Jewelry Making Fun collaboration. Um, each month on the 18th, usually at 10 a.m. Eastern, we post um, following a theme. However, this month um, I didn't get my video done in time and guess what? We lost power. I tried to film this on my patio on battery on my laptop with a tripod attached to it. However, it was upside down and anyway, <laughs> didn't didn't work out. So our colors this month are seafoam green and or tan and or white. Options were anklet and then second option was um, pearls or shell. So I used pearls and shell in this one. And in this one, I use some seafoam green and tan, and I use tan in both. So this is the first necklace that I made. That's all I got done this month, so I'm sorry, but this is just a strung necklace. It is with um, mint green picture. It's not seafoam green, but it's mint close enough, right? Um, it's with picture jasper ovals, uh, which I had gotten at Fire Mountain some time ago. And um, in them and throughout here, I have some check glass twist beads, which I got at um, Beadbox Bargains a while back. And then these are picture jasper, I forget what these are called, but they're like um, a, a fan um, pendant. But I split them up and put them in between the mint green and the twist beads and things. Um, and then back here, these are coconut jasper, and those are 10 millimeter rounds. And then this is a Tierra cast um, sunburst um, antique copper. I used antique copper findings. I really don't have any metal throughout this one except for the clasp. And it's on copper Accuflex beading wire, uh, rose gold plated copper crimps, and antique copper wire guardians. I forget where I got all those from, but. I, that's what I used. And then on this one, um, it is a strung necklace, same wire and things up to here. These are Tierra Cast Little Rings, which I had bought at Softflex uh, back in, I think, January. And then these are shell beads, which are sort of cut on a diagonal, and they all have like a big piece here. Um, but I put them on, strung them through, and then the freshwater pearls also. And they're all different sizes of potato beads because they came out of a kit that I had gotten, oh my gosh, probably back in 2012 from Jewel School Jewelry Television. Um, yeah, so I, I have some cleanup to do because I was doing some of these wire wraps when the power went out. And uh, so I do need to go in and make sure they're all pushed down and everything, but I'll, I will do that as soon as I'm done recording. And um, I used antique bronze actually wire to wire wrap these links from onto here and then up to the clasp. And then this clasp, I think, was just a basic antique cover, it said. Um, toggle clasp, and then I do have two oval jump rings on instead of connecting directly to the clasp. And I did that because the toggle, it gives it a little more uh, ability to go in and out of the toggle easily. A little more length right there. And um, this one I think is an 18 inch, and this one I think is um, about a 20 inch, something like that. Um, so that is what I have. I will probably have more pieces by the end of the month with this because I had some other ideas. I just didn't have time to do them between some personal things I had going on and also then losing power for almost eight hours today, um, which I should have had this done before that, but I didn't. So I might apologize to apologies to the other collab members um so i hope please please do go check them out as well and see what wonderful creations they came up with this month um, i did like i said i had some other ideas for some pieces that i really wanted to do and i just didn't get to them that were more than just simple stringing and wire wrapping uh, and maybe some wire wrapping but different kind so anyway that's all thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you next time bye for now